It's time for Torn Talk. Hello, my lovelies. Short one today. Uh, I feel crafty. Mm -hmm. um, so any hoodos, uh, there were a couple questions that didn't get answered, mostly because I didn't get the questions until after the video was already up. <laughs> but that's okay, because um, I told y'all if Anything was not answered to your satisfaction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We will cover it today. So we are. Um, before we get to the extra three questions, uh, I just I meant to show you and then I didn't. Um, when I was talking about my fine hair girls, uh, about looking into hair forks, and I said you want a three prong one. I'm talking about one like this. Um, it's wood, three prongs. Um, you see it's got a very slight curve, which is nice because it'll curve around your head kind of deal. But um, I have a few hair forks and I love them all dearly. But this one is still my favorite just because it is perfect um, for my Nautilus bun, which is the one I use the most uh, just because it is fast. It is easy. It gets up. And with a fork, it doesn't move. When I just do it with one stick, it will eventually just kind of shift down on my head during the day, which isn't really a big deal. I just take it down and redo it and put it back up. You know, it takes 10 seconds. Um, but if I use a fork, it never moves, um, which is why I think uh, my girls with really slippery hair, you should really, really, really try to get a hair fork. You only need one, one good one. Um, and if you get a nice wood one, it will match everything. It doesn't matter. Um, you can always expand your collection, of course, but that's the one thing I think you should invest in. Before anybody asks where this one came from, this is from Will of the Wisp on Etsy. This is my friend Kioma made this. The That's actually Edgar Allan Poe there. Um, that little medallion was made by my friend uh, Jamie Burnett over at Dark Angel Accessories. Um, they kind of collabed and made this and as soon as it popped up in the store I bought it which is what you have to do with Kioma's stuff she carves all of this stuff by hand and she goes on like tears like she'll carve a whole bunch throw them up in the shop and then they're gone and then I mean she's a busy gal so she's got a lot of stuff going on so she won't carve any forks for a while and then all of a sudden the five or six go in so um, as I always say just kind of keep an eye on her Etsy shop sort of deal. And then you can get one. I actually have two. I don't know where my other one, I think it's in the bedroom. Um, I have two Kioma forks and I will probably buy more whenever she carves more because I love them. They're just really comfortable for my head. So any hoodles, there you go. Yes, find her girls, invest in a hair fork. Okay, and here are the three extra questions. Um, what is the point of micro trims? Okay, so there are a couple reasons uh, why gals decide to do micro trims. Uh, one, the biggest one is they just really don't want to lose any length. However, they know there's some damage or they have, you know, layers. They're growing out like they've got a layer here and this is the ends and they've got this. And rather than just cut up so everything is all one length. They just keep the ends micro trimmed while this grows out. Um, there are also those who micro trim just to get rid of the split ends as in um, like I just wait. Um, I keep an eye on my ends. If I notice one or two, I just trim them off. You know, as soon as I see them, it's split. I cut that one off. That is a uh, search and destroy S and D. Uh, missions, dusting even, they call it, um, where you notice your individual hairs, like you go down to the end and you look, and if you see any that are split, I just had a trim, so mine are good, but if you notice any that are split, you just cut right there, um, so it won't split further up the shaft and, you know, cause mayhem, um, but micro trims, uh, some gals are harder on their hair to begin with, like they do flat iron often they blow dry their hair every time they wash it and their ends get a little raggedier quicker than somebody who doesn't do those things so just the little the little bitty micro trims you know they don't have to take a whole inch they are literally just taking off those uh, damaged splits 
So that is the point. Um, trying not to lose length. Uh, it's a it's a hard thing in uh, the long haired community at large, not just the site, but the community at large that uh, some girls just long for long hair and every little centimeter is a triumph and they don't want to lose that by you know a one inch trim so they micro trim instead okay uh can you cut curly curly hair at home i think so but i would really recommend that your initial cut you need to go to a salon that specializes in curly hair and i say this because my friend jamie um has glorious awesome curls and I went with her um, to a Diva Curl salon, which they specialize in curls. And it was really cool because they cut her hair dry, um, which really makes a lot of sense because your curls have their own pattern and the way they like to lie. And when they're wet, that's different than when they're dry. Um, so what she initially did was she sat Jamie down and she shaped her hair while it was dry and we're talking it was like this little piece gets a one inch trim this little piece gets a half an inch this little piece gets a two inch because it's weirdly longer than other things like she just went around and made it a beautiful shape um she did look like it all the individual curls um and make sure the ends look nice and she trimmed but she shaped it first um and i think that is definitely the way to go is to have a professional um, that specializes in curly hair because there is a difference. Uh, give your hair a shape that you like. Um, after that, it's actually fairly easy. I would recommend you always trim your hair when it's dry if you are a curly, her curly girl, just for the simple fact that that way you can see if things are being weird. Um, and you have a number of curls on your head and the way I watched her do it was she cut each curl. Um, not, you know, like, let me take this hank of hair, but like each curl got a little trim so that it retained its uniform shape. And it looks great when growing out. So I think you can do it. It's just gonna take you a while. Um, and finally, uh, how can I incorporate more hair toys? Even though I am tired and lazy, hair toys are easy. Um, you can either incorporate more hair toys by figuring out what you want to put your hair up with. For example, a hair fork is, I've always considered it a hair toy, but I guess it's not so much a toy because it does serve its purpose, as in it will hold your bun up. But flowers, anything on a stick is so easy, or a clippy. Like these flowers are just glued to a clippy. I have decorations in my hair, even if I'm tired and lazy. <laughs> and then there are other flowers. I've got flowers pinned everywhere, you guys. Um, on these things, you know, these little clippies like so. Um, same thing. I put these in buns and stuff all the time. But, I mean, you just shove it in. You just shove it in where you want one. No, it's magical. Yeah. Um. Yeah, just invest in some cheap old flower clips. Uh, they've got them all everywhere now. Um, so, you know, they're easy to find. Uh, but that's, yeah. Shove something in. You know, it doesn't have to be spectacular. It's not like having to braid a ribbon in or anything. You can just shove things in your hair. Uh, they make a lot of pins. Like if you put your hair in a bun with sparkles on the ends. I know it's terrible to try and see it. It's my lighting, but it's just, it's a pin with rhinestone flowers on the ends. You can just poke those into buns um, for added sparkle. So yeah, um, just get some hair toys and just stick them in there for decoration. Decorate yourself. Okay, um, we're going to keep it under 10 minutes almost. So that's going to be it for me today. Tomorrow, we are going to try and tint a mason jar with Mod Podge and food coloring, and we're gonna bake it in the oven. So that should be interesting. <laughs>
Yay! And I'm not sure which one I'm pulling back for the classic series on Wednesday. I think I'm just going to go back and look and see which ones that I do. We might we might revisit uh, my Victorian because I do um, actually on a suggestion. I think it was Lucy that told me um, Lucy's corsetry. Lucy, you guys know her. Um, I think she's the one who told me how she started doing it. And I did it her version. I'm not positive it was Lucy. I'm just going to suppose it was. Um, and I kind of liked it better. It was just the way we do the rope. So, um, or the extra braids. So we'll probably do that one on Wednesday. Um, especially because I got my, my topsy tail thingy. So that should make that easier. Okay. Um, now we're over 10 minutes. I'm awesome. Any hoodles. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.